guys uh, in this video we are going to write our first code and we are going to make a get request to the members endpoint so the api in the test is already up and running and let me take you to the postman and the first api is you know we have to retrieve a single member okay now this is the endpoint the authorization is basic authentication username and password are admin admin then content type we are setting to this except we are setting to application json these are the two headers okay now since this being the get request we are not adding any body to this you hit the send request and this is the response that you get back okay then you have this get all members wherein you can also pass in the query parameter okay so let me take this out you hit the send button you receive all the members okay again it also has the authorization uh, as basic authentication again headers you can decide to select let's say accept application xml and then the response would be in the format of xml okay now in this endpoint you can add the query parameter which is gender and you can pass in the value male and female and accordingly this is going to filter out the result set for you okay now you only see female members okay so this is your query parameter and then guys if you if you go back to the previous one okay in here when you say forward slash three this is the path parameter all right now guys i request you to watch all the three videos in this series before continuing with this because in there i've set up the base and i'm just gonna build up on that base in this video all i'm gonna do is whatever concepts that i've explained in there i'm gonna uh you know leverage those using rest assured okay so let's get started with rest assured so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to create a package with the name basics now why basics i'm calling it basics because guys first we are going to understand how can we for example create a request object in rest assured how can we create the response object in rest assured then uh there are some libraries like hamcrest which comes as part of rest assured package okay so how can you leverage these libraries to create assertions okay we'll learn the basics and then we'll create the framework okay makes sense so the first class that i'm going to create is let's call it get basics okay and since we have test ng in our project so let's create a test method get member okay like this and let's import it from test ng okay as you could see this is an audition now guys in rest assured there are two modes in which you can work you can work in a bdd way and uh, you can also work in the non bdd way okay so which one is recommended uh, bdd okay but i'll cover both in this video but uh, moving forward i'll only use the bdd version all right so in testing we follow the triple a pattern okay what is that so we have a range okay then we have act and finally we have assert okay now when i say a range what do we have to do in here so we have to create the request object okay when i say act we have to send that request object and when i'm saying assert you know whenever you send the request object you know server is going to send some response object back okay then you have to extract the value from the response object and you have to run your assertion all right fair enough now a request object contains three things as i explained in part two of this video you have got request line okay then you have got the headers and you also have body okay now this is not applicable in case of get request request line is the only mandatory thing whenever you construct a request object now guys in request line we have to provide in the scheme the domain the port okay and the path parameters all right this is how we are going to form the url of uh, the endpoint that we want to hit okay now in rest assured there is a class called as rest assured okay so i do control space and i bring that in now in this you have all these different properties okay so these are static properties that's why using the name of the class i can access these so i say my base url would be and then i also provide in the port okay now the port in our case is 
5002 okay then the next thing is we have to provide in the path parameter okay so we say again rest assured dot and now you have this base path okay and in our case guys it is in headers right we have to provide in the authorization information and we also have to provide in the accept header right now accept header will decide or will tell the server that the client is requesting the response in a particular format okay now in the api under test i have implemented two formats right so the server can send you response back in either json or xml okay now let's set up the headers how can we do that okay so in rest assured as far as your authentication part is concerned again there is a thing called as authentication as you could see in here this is the property which is of type authentication scheme now what is this authentication guys now authentication scheme guys is an interface it sets an authentication scheme that should be used for each request by default no authentication is used so we have to set it again so then we say the way we are going to set up is very simple we are going to say hey rest assured just provide me that basic authentication and in here guys you provide the username and password okay next comes is we have to create the request specification okay now request specification guys again is an interface now this allows you to specify how the request will look like now specify a default request specification that will be sent with each request okay so rest assured dot we have this method given okay as you could see this returns me the request specification okay so let's store that in the request specification object okay so guys now with the help of this http request uh, request specification object i can add headers dot we have this header method and in here you could see you can either provide in the header object or you can also pass in the form of key value okay to say header now again this will come from rest assured okay so io rest assured dot http and then you have this object and you say new and you provide in the header and in here now you provide string name and value okay so what we are going to say is i want to accept the response let's say in the format of uh, application json okay so i say application forward slash json all right now i have the header as well which i can then attach to my request specification all right so the header part is done next we move on to body like i said it's not applicable now we have to uh, send this request okay now to send this request we'll again use the request specification okay and then we say we have the method request okay which takes in the method okay so we say okay method dot okay and the method is get in our case okay now let's see what this is going to return us so this is going to return us the response great so this is what i want so guys now this response again is an interface now, the, now this will return us the response of a request made by rest assured okay so let's store that in the response object like this okay and we have to bring this in and again this will come from io rest assured dot response okay it's very important you pick the right packages okay now we have the response now what do we want to do okay now we have to run some assertions okay so let's see how do we define the response object okay so in part two i specify that we have status line okay then we have uh, headers and then we have body okay these are the three things so let's uh, see how we can fetch these values okay and let's use a uh, assert dot assert equal okay from uh, test ng and we have this response object 
we said response dot and we need to find out the status okay so we have status code and status line now in here you could see we have status code and get status code so both will give you the same output because they both belong to the response options okay as you could see so there's no difference okay so let's pick this one and then what are we expecting we are expecting 200 okay now same way let me copy this line and let us now do the same for status line okay so we have a status line in here now what are we expecting it contains three things okay the version the three digit number and the description okay so we say http and i believe we have 1.1 then we say 200 and okay all right now it's time to fetch the headers and what we are going to do now is we are going to just display all these headers onto the console okay so we say response dot headers what do we have in here so using this again you could see that we can uh, fetch all the headers okay so I do this and this is guys going to return me headers okay so let us create an object of that headers we have headers and let's say uh, headers is equal to this okay nice now this class implements iterable okay so let's first bring that in again from io rest assured http and if i open this class so it implements iterable okay great so let's use the advanced for loop so i say for and i say header and i just say hd colon headers and guys now we'll get individual headers now header is nothing it's a key value combination okay so therefore what we can now do is okay so we say uh, key let's concatenate the key value how do we get the key value so we say hd dot get name okay then let's further concatenate hd dot get value okay about the body so for now let's do one thing let's just print it to the console okay dot now again uh, we have this as pretty string so this will give you the response body data in the form of string okay so let's select this all right so let me save this and let us now hit enter okay so great everything works in the first attempt itself and you see our assertions are passed these are all the headers in the response okay as you could see x powered by qa box let's test rate limit is in here and content type is application json all right and this is the exact response body that i have in here okay great so that's all from this video in the next video we are going to use the bdd style and we are going to see how can we add the query parameters path parameters and we're also going to see some uh, assertions that we can write so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video